It's game week six here at the University College School playing fields this afternoon as UCS take on Vera Lamians. And after three straight games without being beaten, UCS name a strong side this afternoon. And the front row is Daniel Roach with David Cohen at prop. Fraser Warren continues at hooker. Alex O'Farrell and Thomas Hughes will lock the scrum with Konstantinos Gerontakis and Adam Wright as flankers. Johnny Harper will be number eight this afternoon for Will Jones's UCS. There's plenty of talent in the back line as well. Luca Raymond continues at scrum half with Oliver Boss at number 10. Luca Joseph will be on one wing with Ben Byer on the other flank. Owen Stacey and Chris Silk will be this afternoon's centres. Gabriel Hartwell will come in at fullback for the injured Conrad Paljowski. Barney Hartwell, Ben Lewis, Zach Said, Jack Williams and Alex Thompson are on the bench this afternoon in what should be a very entertaining clash between two of the competition's pace setters so far. It's time for the game to commence. So off we go. Good game in prospect this, this afternoon. Verulamians who have won three of their opening four fixtures, sitting in third in the table. UCS having clocked up a three-game unbeaten streak, which they will hope to extend this afternoon. Weather conditions are fairly reasonable. Both sides will look to attack the game, I'm sure, with both having made very good starts to the season. And already a steal from UCS will put them in good field position here. And already Verulamians will have to come up with some big defence as the ball now moving through the hands and a pass out wide isn't the greatest. Raymond gets it out to Boss. Oliver Boss going back to the Rook. No Oliver Clagg today. He's uh, still unavailable through a rib injury. And as Verulamians will come up with the ball here and knock on. It'll be interesting to see how both sides will approach the game in terms of scoring points. It was a prime opportunity at certain points in games previous to take shots at goal when they passed them up really and looked to run attacking there's a great little ball and what an opening to the game it is for UCS a try for David Cohen it's a lovely little flat ball and he romps over the line for the first try of the game and what a pass that was from Boss Sets it up on a plate absolutely beautifully. 7 0 lead after eight minutes of the match for UCS. And they're looking in the mood here. The win will take them above the Rolamians into third place in the table. Obviously, depending on other results, they may go as high as second. Chess Valley top of the table. As the throw in, sees Verulamians now looking to build themselves. Not the start that they would have wanted to the game, I dare say. But it is now up to them for a reply, and they won't do it with ball work like that. Penalty coming to UCS and again they look to run it not the greatest of throw-ins although I think the referee initially was going to wave play on but he's now decided that they will come back and have a scrum there's Verulamians out to the back of the set piece moving their way through the gears been a fairly competitive game this over the past few years. 
All the way back in March, UCS won the game by 13 points to 10 as again they make their way upfield. But Verulamians winning the previous two encounters in 2022 and 2019, so difficult to surmise which way this game could very well go. They've made a very good start here of UCS as out of scrum half goes Luca Raymond. Signals going on at the Rook area to get some backup here for UCS. Raymond out of the scrum, Boss. Again, wondering whether or not that was obstruction and indeed the referee giving the crossing call. And sadly for UCS, a promising position comes to nothing. But this is a promising position for Viralamians. Can they make the most of this? They're going to recycle the ball and rather than use any power by the looks of things, they're going to look to use their shape and drive towards the line. There's plenty of backup here for those light blue and yellow jerseys. Can they get their first points of the afternoon? Flat ball is very well dealt with. Terrific tackle. Good quick ball for Viralamians, although the pass back on the inside is poor. They do manage to dive on it. Can they recycle it? The answer is yes. And the ball now in midfield. Again, they're just lacking that killer pass here. They are working hard enough and recycling well. But the UCS defence standing up very, very firm at the moment. They're going to need something special to break them down, you feel. And UCS have got it and kick the ball away as well. There's Neil going to take the cameraman out on this near side. As the throw will be won by Verulamians. And they will now look to move it wide, but a knock on. And there might be a breakaway here, potentially. But they've managed to... Pick the ball up, stop the play dead, and it will be a UCS scrum. Again, it's been a very competitive opening to the game, this. A game which UCS lead by seven points to nil, and a good little ball to maybe try and make a break here. And Raymond will kick. And there's a big chase on here, and Bayer is on to this. And they've managed to get the bounce as well. Good little dummy here. Can they get Bayer in at the corner? They flick the pass up, and Bayer will score. Well, that is absolutely superb. The assist will go, I believe, to Gabriel Hartwell. But it's a superb kick over the top. Gabriel Hartwell with a terrific bit of backing here. Look at the footwork and the composure. Throws the dummy, knows where his winger is. And he has the presence of mind just to flick that pass up. And the score for Ben Bayer giving UCS a 12-0 lead. Well, how on earth do... Verulamians respond to this they're going to respond by trying to use power this time and they're in good position to do that and acting scrum half here is Thomas Shenton not long left till half time is there any type of a response here for Verulamians they have a penalty they're going to take the scrum option. Um, not It'll yet. be Shenton to feed it in. And out the back it comes. Not the quickest of balls, but they will get a penalty yet again. And they look to take the quick tap and go. Maybe a sim bin here as well, potentially, for Gerontakis. And he is indeed in the sim bin. Well, he just... Got in the way of the penalty, unfortunately, did Konstantinos Gerontakis. And as a result of his indiscretion, he can now spend the next 10 minutes in the sim bin. As Verulamians now with a great chance to register their first points of the afternoon. 
Again, they've recycled well today. But they need to find that killer ball. Shenton is in there at the back of the rook, looking for the opportunity to provide that killer pass. They're right on the line. Here is Shenton. There's the offload, and they'll score. Harry Dean, the centre, takes that lovely little offload from Thomas Shenton. He looks as though he was wrapped up with Thomas Shenton, but Dean coming round the back. A lovely score to get Verulamians back in the game at 12-5. That's a lovely dummy from the restart. And a great bit of defence, strong defence from UCS. As the kick away will go on a couple of bounces and be picked up and run back. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Come on, There's the man. kick here from Boss towards the sideline. It may stay in here and they've actually picked it up, although there will be, I believe, a penalty here potentially. I think the referee is given. Line out is successful as half time approaches. Is this a chance for UCS to extend their lead going into half time? Out of the back of the rook is Raymond, and the ball flying across the middle of the park here. Zoeen Stacy, who has the scrum cap on. There's the ball out, not the best of passes, but they will recycle. Fraser Warren. And once more, it will be. UCS to keep the pressure on. There's a ball out to Ben Byer. Already one try to his name today. A flat pass, which we'll see UCS in midfield here. and They've certainly got an opportunity to register a score, although they won't do it like that. And the referee is going to give a penalty on the far side. Big scrum this for UCS as we head towards half-time. Any sort of score here. He's really going to put Viralamians under pressure and once again out of the centre position. Lovely offload. Boss Ben Bayer for a second. Can he get in? Yes, he can. Brilliant from the UCS winger. A second try for Ben Bayer. Again, the ball movement across the face of play was very, very good. Gabriel Hartwell coming in from fullback again. But Ben Bayer had so much work to do here, but he gets that right arm out and scores a crucial try before half time. Hartwell's conversion hits the post. Well, it's still not a bad way to go into half time. They will have a bit of play here to see out before the referee will bring the half to a close but I'm sure that Will Jones and UCS will be more than happy with the way that this has gone as a knock on at full back will bring the half time interval upon us UCS in full control here they've scored three first half tries two for Ben Bayer and lead Viralamians at half time 17 points to five and we can afford to do that because they're not beating us in the tackle. We don't need to slow their ball down because we're already doing it by being on the front foot. Yeah. So let's just be disciplined, compete when it's on, maybe compete further down the pitch as well, not on the five minute line, unless you're really, really clear on it. That's all for me. It's good. I feel now, boys, fitness needs to be there. Boys, the last few sessions we've worked on that support play through the middle, yeah? yeah. On either side. We are beating them in every tackle and beating them in the physicality. All of us are able to get our hands through. Let's make sure we're right on each other's shoulders and we're being loud and we're letting each other know where we are. Because we will score as many times as we want this game, going straight through the middle with the offloads and with the supports, yeah? That's how we win this game. 
Thank you, guys. Danny. Well, work great, though. Really yeah. works great. Yeah. Yeah. Penalties are just killing us, honestly. We could have had a few more tries. Advantage, I don't think he's given us as much advantage as we like just because we're trying to kill our own ball. I've talked to the ref about a few things, but let's really try and bodyguard it ourselves and really take yeah. responsibility of that area. That first initial hit over a ruck or over a tackle, that's your responsibility to make sure that you're the dominant figure in that. Let's not try and let that slip. If we dominate man for man, we will come out with a lot more tries and points. But we've really got to just make sure that we commit to everything we do. And that is putting your head in places you don't want to do, making the tackles, just really the aggression needs to lift a little bit. We've got, yeah. different, we've got another level, boys. We yeah, have. Definitely yeah. Comes out to us who wants it more. We want it more than them. Yeah. We want it more than them. Let's go, boys. No, okay. Just understand that that last try you got will be a massive kick in the guts for them. Okay, so understanding that, this half is going to be hard, hard work. You're going uphill, you've got to empty the tank here, lads. Okay, work great, work great. Defence, as we said, when we're defending that line, Okay, let's maintain that the pitch. All right, boys. Big, big hits where we we're going past them. Okay, we're hitting them. We're going and they're going behind the game line. We're then on the front foot and they're going to pop. That's when they drop the ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to make sure every time we're there, we're doing it. If we do get into their 22, we get a penalty. Let's try and take some points away. We don't have to play amazing rugby. Okay, let's just really try and manage the game now. Be yeah. smart. Okay, don't have to do the flamboyant stuff. Be smart. Let's play in the right areas. Yeah, play in the right areas. Manage the game and win the game. Yeah. We're making guys, guys, guys change it. Yeah. We've got to work now. We've got to bloody work. Right, be with me. Ready? One, what? two, three. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, boys. Forward, subs. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Verulamians will be seeing their position in the league very much under threat. They've only lost one game this season, have Verulamians. But they need to come up with something if they are to have any sort of a say in this particular game. Of convincing wins over... Thamesians and Royston, as well as a good win away at Stevenage Town in game week four. Played one game less than UCS, but still hold a higher league positioning due to the amount of wins they've managed to rack up. Their only defeat coming away at Watford by four points. UCS themselves have had two defeats this season, although... After the opening couple of games, they're now on a three-game winning streak. That's a penalty. So can Verulamians respond here? A wide ball out to the flank side as they look to recycle, but again they're in need of something to just get them back in the game. Nothing at the moment. Is really going their way, but they need somebody to stand up and take the game to UCS here. As again, a scrappy recycle will come back their way. UCS defence holding up nicely here at the moment. As they go out wide, looking to get themselves in position to mount an attack here. A lovely little jinking run. And a lovely backup as well. They're edging closer, but they won't again be able to build any pressure with offloads like that. Although, again, they have managed to keep hold of the ball well. Out wide, and again, the dummy throw looking to potentially mount something. A lovely little step here and a lovely play. This might be superb. Oh, it is. How about that from Joseph Breeze? You will not see many better individual tries like that. Takes the ball out of the back of the rook. Look at that step there. That's superb. Gets him in the gap. Two missed tackles there. But look at this double step. Hartwell no chance. Brilliant reply. Sensational try for Joseph Breeze. Although he's shanked the conversion and well... That would have brought them back within a try of getting level in the game. Well, having scored a sensational solo try, Joseph Breeze has completely fluffed his conversion. 
I don't think UCS will mind, but... That may very well come back to haunt Verulamians. In the latter stages of the game. Certainly tell the days are getting darker here in the UK with winter very much now upon us. There's a lovely ball. Stacy recycles well. The ball wide looking to bring in Hartwell. Gabriel Hartwell who's Assisted a couple of tries already today as they move the ball out wide. Can they manage to get it inside? Well, Verulamians have just about managed to keep them at bay for now. And again, Breeze will punt clear. And a lovely take by Hartwell coming from fullback as the knock on will be called by the referee. He will look to bring them back and the minutes ticking down. Verulamians who lose it through Breeze again. He's hacked forward. I think the referee may very well be happy to play on here as a lovely bit of play involving the full back, Gabriel Hartwell, but they picked it up here and Shenton may be away down this near side touchline. Well, I was surprised that the referee didn't maybe come back from that. It was a lovely looking counter attack by Luca Joseph and Gabriel Hartwell. But Breeze again looking to use that footwork. And again, he's very nearly through. Gets an offload in. He's causing all sorts of problems with ball in hand. Is the scrum half, Joseph Breeze. He's breezing past defenders like they're not there some of the time. Sorry for the cheesy punt. <laughs> He's had a quite superb game apart from the horrible conversion that he missed after scoring that sensational try. There's a penalty for Vera Lamians, which will not be something that USC or UCS rather will have wanted. They are right on the line once again here, Verulamians. Time ticking down. Are they able to get themselves an equalising score here with a try and a conversion, not with plays like that? Penalty to UCS. Again, solid throw. Play being held up as... Players coming in trying to keep Verulamians at bay. Running in towards the sideline. It's a close one, this. The referee with whistle in hand. And it will be UCS who will benefit from this scrum. And here, the supporters and staff on this touchline absolutely loving what they're seeing. Can UCS hang on for a crucial win here? It's been a very tough performance. It's been a great performance. The ball is out and the referee blows time. Huge win for UCS. It was their try scoring ability in the first half that put the points on the board. And barring a wonderful individual try from Joseph Breeze, they've defended superbly to win the game 17 10. First, we said at half time, okay, we're going to front up. It's going to be hard work against that hill. Okay, we fronted up. Okay, some of that defensive effort was awesome. Okay, really, really impressed by how we covered each other's backs, but we kept going. Okay, so that defence, yeah, we scored some good tries in the first half, but that defensive here, Okay, the last 20 minutes won you that game. Okay, that 20 minutes won you that game. So you need to remember that every time that 20 minutes wins you the game, but that's what we strive for. Okay, great win, boys. Enjoy it and have plenty of beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah boys. Is a, occasionally a UCS side is known to sort of throw that way, and that really showed about how we're training, how we're together, how we really fought for each other. 
and it's a real nice feeling to come away when it's so close and such a physical game with that win. One squeeze, then we'll go in for a beer. <laughs> Boys, honestly, so enjoyable. Thank you so much. One, two, three, squeeze! Shit, boys! Silky! Come on! Wait for me!